Fred Karlinski from Greenberg Turk. Nice to have you on the Fraud Leadership Series again. Thank you very much for having me again, Andrew. Oh, it's my pleasure. Hey, the first thing I want to talk today is public policy concerns over a year into the pandemic with workers comp. What are you thinking? So I deal with public policy issues all the time. I think the biggest issue that we're facing right now is the states that are crafting presumptions and or have crafted presumptions. At the end of the day, a contract needs to be adhered to. I mean, you've got contract clauses in the United States Constitution, in most state constitutions. And I think when the state legislatures or executive orders crafted these presumptions in various states, you had people saying, well, if I can't rely on that contract, how am I going to reasonably and effectively and prudently sell insurance in that state? And what I mean is that insurance is priced and based on actuarial science. And if you go ahead and you add in coverages that were not intended when you originally sold that policy, then you're going to create a system where there's no reliance on the regulatory scheme and on the government in that particular state. And you're going to have insurers questioning whether they can do business in that state. So long term effects for the industry, right? I mean, it, it's pretty clear here if all of a sudden your your policy covers things that wasn't originally priced or intended for. How do you see that affecting the industry in the long term? You, see, you could see constraint. I mean, money goes where money's welcome and money walks where money's not welcome. And if people think that they're deploying capital in a state where the rules are different or the rules are going to be changed in midstream, they've got to really question that. You know, predictability in insurance and frankly, I would say predictability in life is pretty important. So when you lose that predictability in a business like insurance, you're really losing a lot. And I think you're going to see potentially markets constrained in those areas. You're going to see other positive effects, though, like telehealth and telemedicine. Those are huge types of issues now. Those impact and affect workers' comp claims and how they're dealt with, along with other types of claims. But I think the most uh, deleterious long-term effect is going to be if people, if companies and, 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 and um, financial providers and backers don't think that the rules in a particular state are going to remain constant, that's where they're going to have to think about whether that's a good enough state to do business in or not. Yeah, good point. Last thing I want to mention, of course, any crisis always breeds fraud, right? And, and what bigger crisis have any of us lived through than this pandemic? Are there some specific fraud schemes that you've started to see over the past couple of months emerging? So I, I would just say, obviously, we're dealing with a, a number of different issues out there, PPP fraud. I mean, insurance always has a lot of fraud to begin with. I like to say that insurance is uh, insurance fraud is not a victimless crime. The, not, the Coalition Against Insurance Fraud says insurance fraud is the crime we all pay for. So I think what you're going to see is I, I wouldn't call these presumption claims that are sanctioned by various states fraud. But I would say that when you um, have too wide of a berth there, you have actors that take advantage, unfortunately, of course. And so what I think we need to do as an industry and as a community is remain vigilant. If you know someone's out on workers comp insurance and they're a roofer and they're not, you know, they're out for six months, but they're being paid, but they're horseback riding every week or jumping out of airplanes, that's something we need to take notice of. To be clear, I want to make sure, and I know everyone else does, that if there's a valid claim where someone was injured on a work site based on their work, that that's one thing. But I think you do have the, um, I think you do have, frankly, a propensity for people to sort of stretch the rubber band, if you will, on some of these types of claims. Yeah, and absolutely, you know, one of the the things that's sort of needed to commit fraud is the opportunity, right? And I think. Unfortunately, there's just been so much going on lately that it's hard to close that opportunity gap the way we normally would. So it, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a real long term effect on these these uh, absolutely. Fraud. absolutely. Well, Fred, appreciate all the insights. Really nice having you on the video series today. Thank you very much for having me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Likewise.